Nine Eye, that one group that I said sounded like Day Six, they had that song called Young Boy that's fucking on repeat on my Spotify playlist. I love that. Well, one of the members is named Vaughn. That's this person here. And he made his own YouTube channel and he released his own song called Crush On You. And it has literally like only less than 10,000 views. It has like 9,400 views. So let's give him a view. Let's listen to his music and let's Google about, not Google, let's Google out of how cute he is because he's very cute. Uh, hi, I'm Dino, this is Teacher X. My class where I play music videos, now start rapping on my channel. I'm excited to see what solo stuff we have here. I see a guitar, is that gonna be involved? I don't know, I'm just excited because anytime I see a new solo stuff, it could, it could easily be something that I will immediately enjoy. Who knows though, time to find out by pressing play. Like this video and subscribe, we're on the road to 2K. Watching me a while, you know that I have a soft spot for extremely fast lyrics. That was a great transition from like lower register to higher shit. Stuff. Good falsetto, dude. Very cute. Very cute. I love this drum keeping the beat all the way through and the movement up. It's fucking good. Especially because then you have him catching up with his mouth, go, that phrasing, catching up with his, uh, like his vocals going faster as well to keep up with that movement. It's good. Oh, give me more lower voice too. That's cute. I like like both of his vocals he's able to use, the lower register and the high note. He almost has like Dohanse from Vikin. Like his higher register here reminds me of Hanse from Vikin. His solo stuff that he's done, like Gummy Bear and stuff, it's similar. Good shit, dude. I like that belting. Listen to him having fun doing little ad libs and stuff in the background. It's good. Ooh. Oh man, I thought we were getting like a, a whole nother section. They were like, no, we're just gonna just keep, we're gonna drum. We're just gonna drum and have fun. I enjoyed that a lot. That was very light and fun, but also like his vocals really like fucking phenomenal, dude. This is a showcase in having somebody who can sing two different ways and be just as good both different ways. Being able to go one way and go another is very important. And fucking that it's it, okay. Maybe it's importance, maybe not the word, but like, it's very impressive. I guess that's the, what I need to say here. I don't know why my computer decided to not want to load. Um, I'm going to have nothing to say about this instrumental though. There's nothing there. It's basic, but it doesn't, need, this is, it, it's very, we've heard this kind of stuff before. It doesn't need to be very impressive because you have vocals that are very good. Yada, 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 insert everything I've said about this style of song before. However, I like it. It's got movement heavy, which is good. It's got vocals that are great. It's got a cute guy singing it. I don't think you can have anything else. I don't think everything else is great. I think the biggest comparison here would be him and, like I said, Hanse from 
uh, Victor in his solo stuff that when he goes, when Vaughn goes higher with his high notes, it sounds like that nasally version of uh, Hansei singing as well. It's very neat. They should collab. They would sound fucking great together. Okay, that's all I have though. Let's do outro time. Quick video today. If you liked this video, click like button, make some good about yourself, comment and subscribe. We're on the road to 2K. We hit 1600 recently. I'd like to hit more than that. It's pretty much it. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.